Please have a seat. Welcome all to the Debian uh, Dev Room, the last talk of this uh, this, uh, this year's FOSDEM. Um, well, the, the most asked question about Debian is, of course, when will uh, when we will will we release? Well, our, we've flown in the release manager of uh, of Debian, uh, <laughs> Luc Klaas, and he uh, he is going to yeah, tell us a bit about uh, about Lenny. Luc. Yeah. Well, flown is not really the word because. I drove here by car, it's only one hour. Um, so I'm talk, uh, I'll talk a bit about the next release. Uh, it's named Lenny. Um, I first uh, talk a bit about uh, the new uh, release team uh, for uh, Lenny. So I'm one of the release managers and uh, Andy Bart is the other one. Uh, I don't know if he's here. Ah, over there. Hidden, yeah, hidden uh, to the right of me. So, and then um, we have like uh, many release assistants now uh, because uh, some of them joined recently um, and some of them are certainly here, like uh, Mike. Um, and we, of course, uh, still have our release wizard, uh, Steve Langashek, uh, who is currently uh, mostly busy with Ubuntu, but okay. Um, <laughs> but we can still rely on him for um, if we have uh, questions or if there are um, major uh, bin and MU things, stuff like that. So. Um, one of the things, um, uh, well, we have two things actually uh, for release to manage, um, well, technically, namely um, release critical bugs. Um, there are um, at the moment like uh, 500 uh, release critical bugs in testing. Um, testing is the staging area for the new release. Yeah, just drop in if you have a question. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, five are C bugs in testing. Uh, we have more in unstable, but um, of course, um, they are not really um, critical for the next release. Um, there are two things we can do about them. Well, we can fix them and make sure they migrate. Control shift. Uh, what does it do? Plus. Uh, plus. Another time? So, it's better now. Um, so we can do two things, namely uh, fix them and make sure they migrate to testing. Um, or we can remove the package from testing. Um, of course, if we remove the packs from testing, the release critical bug is not anymore in testing. Um, so um, this is really uh, a cry for help to to fix these bugs. Uh, otherwise, we will be forced to remove a lot of packages from testing. Uh, next to these release critical bugs, we have at the moment uh, about a thousand uh, release goal bugs. Um, many of them are uh, for uh, GCC 4.3, which I'll uh, be talking about later. Um, and <coughs> there is one important difference in this number. Uh, these uh, release call bugs are uh, for uh, all suites, so also for unstable. So it's a bit less for testing. Um, the, the difference between a release critical bug and a release goal bug is uh, a release critical bug is release critical. So if it doesn't get fixed, we won't release. And fixed is, of course, um, removal or an actual fix. Um, for a release goal bug, um, we won't delay the release if the bug is not fixed, but we really want um, the bug to be fixed. Um, 
So it's only a goal and not um, a blocker for the release. Um, and they have the same support uh, from the release team uh, like RC Bucks, which means that uh, there is a zero day NMU, uh, non-maintainer upload, uh, for uh, bugs that are at least seven days old uh, without um, any maintainer reaction. Uh, so, what are the release goals? Um, we have um, the first one mentioned in the file is um, full uh, IP version 6 support. Um, there were um, yesterday like uh, 32 bugs open. Um, so, if someone is interested, in fixing these 32 bugs, that would be great. Um, another um, quite important one, um, well, for some of us, is uh, the double compilation support, which means that um, if you build a package um, and uh, you build it right after, so you actually build it twice after each other, um, well, it breaks. So there are 236 packages at the moment um, that break when you uh, build them twice after each other. Um, mainly uh, this means that there is something wrong with uh, uh, clean targets, so that some files um, are getting uh, removed while they shouldn't be, or the reverse, they aren't removed. So um, they m make uh, the build fail. Uh, another release goal is um, that we don't want to have um, um, a recommence relation inside main that isn't resolvable in main itself. Um, so um, as policy um, says, um, every package in main should only depend and recommend on packages that are also in main. So we have a, a system that is totally free. Um, so that's what this release goal is about. Then we had a rather uh, easy release goal, um, drop that make, and we made it happen already. So there are zero remaining bugs for that one. And then we want to have um, uh, internationalization support for all uh, DEP confusing packages, which means that all packages um, that interact with the user uh, during installation um, should be able uh, to be translated in all languages uh, by using DEPConf. Um, currently, there are only five bugs left. Um, it's a goal that uh, is already a long time being pursued and so there are only five bugs left. So let's try to make sure there are zero bugs left for the release. Then another one that's already a long time candidate is um, a full uh, large file support. Um, there are only 10 bugs left so also that one should certainly be manageable for Lenny. And we have still some other ones. Um, we want um, all uh, Debian changelog and Debian control files to be uh, UTF-8. Um, there are only 12 bugs because, of course, if it's uh, ASCII, it's already UTF-8. Um, so there are only 12 ones left uh, that use other encodings. So also this one should certainly be uh, doable for Lenny. Um, then one of the famous ones, we uh, want for a release call to switch um, pin sh to dash. And there are currently uh, 96 bugs open.
Yes. Well, only make it possible to make it a default, yes. Yeah, we won't make it default this time anyway. Yeah. yeah. Point, sure. Yes, okay. So, but at least to make sure it's possible. Um, yes. Is this categorization uh, published somewhere? Or? Of course. Yes. Yeah, I mean, is it Release somewhere in the BTS? Or? No, it's, uh, those are just uh, topics we consider as release goals, and they are available from release.dbn.org. Um, slash Lenny slash uh, calls dot well, 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 at least they've been org and took the mouse fix away. Yeah. Uh, and basically they are all tucked with all bugs and tag bugs for it, so it should be possible to find out. And if you don't find them, uh, please send us a mail and we'll make sure it's uh, more visible. Which is probably not a bad idea either way. It's the top front page. No, we, don't, we definitely don't want no. a wiki page. An <laughs> official page is better. That is no wiki page, for good reasons. <laughs> we don't want people to, um, well, add or delete release goals. <coughs> Anyone can edit any wiki page he likes. The official point is on the release step in org. And they are there, there they are. <laughs> but anyway, we, we should um, make sure the, the bugs themselves are more visible through the release pages. Um, at the moment, um, these categories are uh, certainly visible, but not the actual bugs. So that's something we still have to, um, to fix. Um, then uh, one, uh, another one is um, to make sure that we um, can use uh, dependency-based init systems. Um, so that's uh, mostly about um, headers um, in the existing um, init script. And there are currently 90 bugs open for that one. So that should also be uh, possible to, uh, to accomplish. Um, another one is uh, making a pure parts clean archive. And this means that we want to make sure that um, when you install a package from Edge, so from the current stable, uh, you upgrade to Lenny and you remove the package again, um, that you are in a clean state. So that there are no um, no files left that shouldn't be left, and uh, that nothing breaks when you do that. So this, of course, includes that the upgrade goes well, because if you upgrade and remove, the upgrade should already uh, work well, or the remove probably won't work either. Uh, currently, there are 73 bugs open, but um, these are the, the most obvious um, failures in that category. Uh, if we would file all... <laughs> if we f would file all these bugs, um, that would mean, uh, well, way too many bugs. So uh, we want to focus on these uh, already filed bugs uh, to make sure the most obvious uh, problems are already solved. And then, the, well, the one with the uh, most uh, bugs filed currently is uh, for uh, supporting GCC 4.3. Um, 445 bugs. Um, well, these bugs are really easy to fix, so <laughs> Please, people, fix them. It's 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 uh, mostly just making sure to uh, add a uh, include directive in some files, so it should be really easy to 
to make sure that um, the 445 um, get fixed really soon. And then um, one of the recent added ones, support for uh, Python 2.5. Currently, we are uh, using Python 2.4. Um, there are only 16 bugs left, so also that one should be fairly easy to accomplish. Um, just today, um, we decided to add another um, release goal, uh, namely um, the transition from uh, G77 to G4 Um So uh, to make sure that um, that uh, we have a more reliable and more recent uh, Fortran implementation. And that should be about like uh, 20, 25 bucks about something. The release schedule, probably the most imp uh, interesting part for many people. Um, well, in a couple of weeks, um, early March, um, we will announce the very soft freeze. Um, this means that we will urge uh, all maintainers to not upload any stuff that isn't meant uh, for uh, the next release, Lenny. It also means that um, you really should be think about um, what still should uh, be in the release and what isn't uh, uh, sanely uh, meant to be included in the release. We will also freeze uh, the list of release goals. So if you still think there should be some more release goals, uh, please let us know as soon as possible. And uh, we will start uh, the BSP marathon, uh, so bug squashing parties. Um, real life bug squashing parties mainly, but uh, also online bug squashing parties. So to make sure that um, all the release critical bugs and most of the release call bugs are fixed uh, within time. Um, early April, we will then, um, well, hopefully early April, we will uh, freeze the essential tool chain. Um, so the essential tool chain, that's um, mostly the built essential packages. Um, then, a bit later, uh, mid of June, about mid of June, uh, we want to freeze the non-essential toolchain. So that's like um, Dep Helper, CDBS, uh, Quilt, Dpatch, packages that are uh, for needed for many packages uh, to build, but not for all of them. And we also want to freeze all libraries. Um, and then, of course, um, we want to have a full freeze uh, about one month later, the mid of July. And then, hopefully, uh, release Lenny in September. So how can you help uh, to make sure we, we can uh, release in September? Um, fix, of course, the release critical and release goal bugs. Um, yeah, as soon as possible, actually, because um, if you don't fix them, we uh, certainly for the release critical bugs, we will be uh, trying to remove the package from testing. And like I said before, only upload to unstable if it's supposed to be in the next release. If you're not sure it's uh, already release worthy, please um, upload to experimental and find out if it's release worthy before you upload to unstable. Another thing that's uh, quite interesting is um, to please refrain from uploading if um, Testing migration uh, will be worse if you upload. 
So if you see that um, your package actually um, is in a bad shape in testing and uh, the current version in unstable um, is released worthy, please let it migrate before you upload another version because every upload can delay uh, the migration. Also try to, to not upload packages um, if they are already uh, entangled in another transition, a library transition, for instance. Also, an, uh, an interesting thing is if you uh, want to help speed up the migration, um, it's important to use the correct, correct uh, upload urgency. So if you fix a release critical bug and it was a small fix, please don't upload it as um, normal, but rather as medium or maybe even as... Uh, yeah, rather upload it as uh, medium. Also for the security team, um, if you fix security bugs, um, mostly uh, security fixes are rather small. They are important to our users, so please upload with um, urgency medium. So they only have to wait for five days and not ten days, because in the five more days, maybe another package is uploaded, which will delay the migration of your package. And probably the most important thing, if you upload packages, Please test them before you do. <laughs> um, also, if you're not a maintainer, you can, of course, help the release. Namely, if you find bugs, please report the bugs because we want to have uh, a really uh, high quality release. So every bug that is not filed before the release well, will be trouble after the release. So please, if you find bugs, report them. But try to make sure they, they are al not already filed. So please don't file duplicates, but report bugs if you find them. Another thing you, you always can do is send patches to bugs. Because if someone uh, finds a release critical bug with a patch, it's more likely to, to be uploaded soon than if there is no patch at all. Um, a thing that also everyone can do is uh, participate in bug scratching parties. Also, if you don't have any uh, previous knowledge whatsoever, because especially uh, real-life bug scratching parties are there to make sure that um, new people can um, help to fix bugs. <coughs> uh, of course, other things you can do as a non-maintainer are uh, to test upgrades from um, current edge uh, to testing um, or even um, uh, help in um, preparing the release notes. So. Um, if you test upgrades, you probably will find issues. Some of them can be fixed before the release. Others are probably just um, not fixable or not in that time frame and um, should be mentioned in the release notes. So if you do find such issues, please report them to um, the release notes package. Yes? Uh, how do we know when uh, a bug scratching party uh, occurs? Um, every bug scratching party should be announced uh, to the Debian Devil Announce a mailing list. Uh, Debian Devil Announce is um, only like uh, 15 uh, posts a month, so should be manageable. If someone wants to organize a bug squashing party, of course he's very welcome to do so. That depends on the organizer, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real life bug squashing parties have uh, 
from like five to fifty people attend. Online bug crashing parties, well, it really depends. Uh, I once organized one where I was kind of the only one. <laughs> <laughs> But there are also online books crashing parties with hundreds of people, so it really depends. And of course, everyone helps because everyone is focused on fixing, um, fixing release critical books or at least release goal books. So, are there any more questions or remarks? Yes. What about uh, packages that were removed? For instance, if a maintainer was missing in action, and uh, such package would they enter? Uh, are there any special process, uh, except from uh, issuing a RFS and waiting for someone to follow? And um, so you mean? Um, well, I have an example. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, PHP group where it used to be maintained by someone who currently is missing in action. So the yes. packet was removed by you and others. Uh, <laughs> maybe there were also no, other problems. Testing or this this party made security problems in the PHP group where. Well, you see what happens every time the release team, some of the security pop team pops up and says, no security. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, 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 it's also a really big pain to update. Uh, yeah, I know, I know all the problems, we won't discuss that, but. Uh, Let's well, say that there is no security issue, which is reasons. not in the web tracking system at, um, at the moment. There, so. Well, normally, if, if you uh, want to uh, just reintroduce the package um, in the archive, so in Unstable, um, you just have to make sure that a, a Debian developer uploads it and that uh, FTP masters uh, accept a new version. What's the deadline for? Well, it all depends because if the FTP masters <coughs> don't accept it before the freeze, it, it won't be in Lenny. So Is it removed totally or just from Lenny? So just... Well, this one was removed uh, okay. from unstable end removed. testing. So. Okay. Um, so I need a sponsor. <laughs> um, I anyway. doubt to get one for that package. Um, the problem is we have uh, in a specific case. Uh, we have eGroupware, which is somehow a bit replacing PHP groupware. And the other point is we have been well, we have learned from Lenny, uh, uh, and uh, Sarge that um, it's a wise idea to let the security team veto against packages. Because in some cases we um, release with packages with I don't know dozens of security holes, and um, we had uh, to fix them every like ten to twelve days. And uh, after some time, it gets quite tiring. And especially if a maintainer goes missing and or upstream is not interested in supporting old versions, which is, for example, the case for Mozilla. And um, well, it was a case for... But we can't meet v Mozilla, um, unfortunately. It's still the case for WordPress. Yeah, for example, WordPress, um, which is not supported anymore and uh, stable. Um, so we agreed that the security team can decide that the package should not, in no case, enter a stable release because the security team is responsible for giving security support for all packages. So uh, I guess uh, a package like HP groupware yeah, which would be reintroduced to the archive right now, will not get into Lenny, basically because the uh, security team will say, okay, um, we don't know the maintainer, we don't know if he can help with security problems, and so uh, we will not able, uh, be able to do it ourselves, and the maintainer is not trustworthy, so um, please don't add it to Lenny. But as for general, I was not speaking about BHP group, but normal, pa normal packages, uh, then, yeah, well, you have seen the look that there will be a freeze for all the packages. So anything that's, that is, or that can go to testing before that date, which means it needs to be uploaded 10 days prior to that date, usually. If there are no bugs at all found, can go to testing. If uploaded later, not. Of course, with exception to 
programs that seem say, set up quite important or so, that we will start earlier. Um, if there are very good reasons to add something later, yeah, might happen later. But the, as later, the more important this needs to be, of course, because at some day, day we want to say, well, it's the least, which means totally 100% frozen. Yeah, so how, how it's going to be. But um, for some packages, um, I don't know if uh, PHP groupware is in that case, but some packages, um, it might be interesting to not have them in the release itself, but to have them in backport. Yeah, but PHP groupware is too broken for even that. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Will there be more backports? Like uh, the backports, to my modest opinion, are not um, covering quite a lot of software. Well, well, the bank who is willing to maintain the yeah. backport. Well, it, it, it depends basically. We have different. Well, we have this volatile archive for packages which are both part of Debian and for which are fast moving, that's especially Glamour. We have an update of. <laughs> we have had an update of CZ data, means updated time zone files, something like that. And then we have this backports.org, which is basically for general backports, but also in that case, like in every package with Debian, either somebody who is a Debian developer is going to maintain it? Yeah, or nobody is going to maintain it. <laughs> That's how it is in Debian. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, well, Backboss is not an official part of Debian, especially the release team is not responsible for Backboss. Okay. So um, feel free to ask the persons who are responsible. Uh, we're not here today, I believe no one from no one. the Backboss no. team is here. Um, but um, usually every a uh, developer should be able to upload and uh, maintain packages. Um, feel free to do it. Okay. And you can be sponsored to backports and even non-developers can get access at some point. So okay. uh, you don't need to give a new maintainer to Yes? Uh, I believe uh, that's a policy that uh, if uh, you want to enter the package in backports, it should be adapting also. Uh, yes. That's well, that's the general rule, but... For some packages, there are exceptions. Well, actually, it's nice if the people look at what the release team does, but it doesn't mean I, I have a... Well, for testing, we as the release team have a responsibility. It means if something is broken, we need to fix it, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> well, if for backports org, of course, they respect whatever happens in testing, but in the end, it's a decision of the backports org team. They say they will fast fix a package, which they have done more than once, yeah, they do it. That's their decision. Well, a strange thing, uh, no one asks about Armel. No, what about Armel? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, as probably many uh, know, uh, Armiel, um, the, the new ABI version of ARM, um, has been added to the archive. Um, there is um, already uh, testing migration happening for RMEL. Um, at the moment, we don't want to say that, um, that it will be included in Lenny because there might still be issues. Well, there are still some issues, um, but we are hopeful to have RMEL in Lenny. <laughs> so it will be um, next to uh, the well probably will be next to the current arm port um, we don't intend to uh, support arm uh, next to armiel uh, in lenny plus one just to be clear, um, RMEL is supposed to be the future, and ARM is kind of that. Yes? How, how do you uh, set up this for uh, the release? Uh, how do you see the, the, the essential to change the free 
about one month after the subsidies, what, what, what are the rules then that we will follow and have time to say, okay, no, we will create two terms? Well, one important. Release physical drugs in the tool chain or? Um, basically, experience from the past. When we wrote that the schedule, we looked at, well, what did we plan for Edge? What did we do for Edge? Which is not exactly the same. But anyways, then we said, okay, what should we learn from that for? for yeah, what do you have to do in between? Well, for example, which, yeah, uh, if, for example, if we have the basic tool, freeze, uh, tool, uh, tool chain freeze, that means that the compiler version now is stable. And we really can fix on weeding out the remaining compiler bugs which means a few hundred SC bucks need to go. Uh, so it's not only about what we can do, but what all the developers can do. Because we don't have only the free state to say, well, at this stage we want to freeze it, and we should have less than this number of SC bucks. Yeah. Because at the end, if we release, we need to have zero SC bucks, or at least assume so. And um, yeah, so that's what, what happens in between. And we have, for example, with the release of Sarge, we said, well, we will want to, uh, want to freeze all of our package on this date. And two days prior to that, somebody uploaded a build demon helper named CDBS, which just broke 150 packages. Uh, we're not going to the pin set. So that's how we get to it. And of course, we will learn something from Lenny. So Lenny plus one will have a different schedule, Lenny plus two, and even different schedule, and so on. So basically, you're beaten by uh, uh, fixing the bug. And and then you yeah, well, you need, yes, and of course, if you, if you change, for example, the new compiler, you can easily add 200 SC bucks. That's not difficult. So uh, you might want to prevent that happening too late in the schedule. Um, well, uh, basically, we have decided on the schedule already, and we will follow the schedule until, well, the final free state is probably the only date which will move all others are more or less fixed, I mean, it's early June or early March or something like that, which means uh, we can decide uh, in about a week we are happy with the current state, and even if there are still are C-bugs, um, we can and will freeze the packages and uh, manually approve the fix for those C-bugs. Because the main main point of uh, the two-chain freeze is to give people a basis <coughs> to work on. Yeah. So we will guarantee it's perhaps not the exit package, which was in the archive at that point, but it will be a package like that with only some fixes applied. Similar enough. And um, so we don't have rules like we decide now it's, it's, it's a good time, it's just a schedule. So there's a fitting date and we do it. So, someone else? No other questions? Uh, you again? Okay. I learned recently about the response of Hulk. I didn't tell about it. <laughs> there won't be support for Blue Heart in Lenny, simply because it's not ready yet. Yeah. Well, it, it depends on the porters. Let me quote a good example. A good example is really the Army L port. The porters made sure all the pack out, at least very most of the package was built reasonably well. They worked together, they just work. And then they said, oh, can we go to unstable? And they were added to unstable by the FTP masters. And well, they just, uh, they were added to unstable. And one week later, they had, I think, 11,000 RVL packages unstable compared to 30,000 of ARM packages. Which I would say, yeah, they built most of the Archive files already in that time. And so oh, now we are going allowing the packages to flow to testing and review it further. But for her, Hurt is nowhere near ready to be used. And probably for a schedule, um, we will probably not even include the Lenny plus one because uh, currently not enough people are interested in doing it. And uh, the addition of a new architecture, a completely new uh, operating system, uh, is much more complicated than just adding a new um, ABI like ARMY. Especially as we have the advantage. So we ta only take ARM EL if we can drop ARM afterwards. So we are, we are dealing with architectures. Yeah, well, it's not so bad because it's, it's, it makes it easier for us in our mirror size and so on because we can say, well, the mirror size doesn't grow in long term because we're dropping the ARM packages.
and probably the next operating system that will be K3DC, which has seen more work than heard in the last few years and has been more uh, ported. And, uh, uh, K3BSD, which is basically a FreeBSD kernel and uh, new user end. But if, if somebody wants to change it, just start as a porter for hurt. That's how it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if the porters do the job very well, it's not that we want, don't want it, it's just the current uh, trend in porting looks like that. So if you have the question, yeah, the next, uh, the next name of the, uh, the yeah, after the name. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any, not this Any other? Yes, Steve. Okay. Which weekend do I need to book, book ahead? <laughs> Best case, which weekend? Uh, first weekend is not next month, month after, whatever it's called. April. For, April. <laughs> For an and a half. <laughs> April first, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, a bit early to uh, <laughs> to say. So. so no other questions or remarks? So I guess the security people will be happy. <laughs> So I guess that's it. Um, if you have any... <laughs> if you have any more questions...